Welcome to Fairytown Studios. What can tell us that? This is a Chapman ML2 V2. V2? Yeah, it's the second. Like the rocket? I, th I think it is a V2 because they changed factories. Oh, okay. I did wonder. So I, thought I think they'd... that's all it was. I think it was just the fact that they weren't happy with how it was being produced and they did a V2 version. And as far as I know, this is now discontinued. As is mine. And mine's the Chapman ML3. So obviously it's better because yours, mine's a three and yours is a two. I'll yep, take my strap off. Accurate to fact. some degree. Um, mine is the pro modern. Mine's the pro range. So expect a lot. Any Well, let's start with the negatives. What don't you like about it? Apart from it's just firewood. Um, <clears throat> the only thing that I had a problem with on this... I'll tell you plate what I don't on the like. Back. Sorry, Karen. Yeah, go on. Yeah, plate on the back was a pain in the ass. I can't say that. Plate on the back was a problem. <laughs> the the shape of this plate wasn't the same shape as the actual cutout. It's too big for the hole. So I, when I took it out, I had to. Why did you take it out? I just wanted to have a look at the pot. So I, <laughs> I did that. As I was well. just being nosy, but I had to leave. I couldn't pop it out, so I had to leave two of the screws in, get some pliers, and pull the screws out. Um, with the whole plate and it actually chipped a bit of the paintwork. Yeah, I saw that. Um, and then I couldn't get the plate back in because it was the wrong shape, it was too big for it. So I had to file it down a bit and put it back in, which was a bit of a pain. So that was, but that's, um, you know, it's on the back of the guitar, I don't really care. Yeah, I've obviously taken all the plastic off mine because mm -hmm. I don't care about that sort of thing. Have you taken all the plastic off yours? Yep. That's not Have you really? No. Which guitar? Oh, is that no, one? Is that spotted it on one earlier? Yeah, I've got that. I'll take that off in a minute. My guitar. What? Hold on. Hold. Oh, sorry. On. Those are the things I don't like about this guitar. Oh no! <laughs> I personally am not a fan of one section of this bridge setup. <laughs> it's the fact that the intonation is on the, I will call it the wrong side of this. But I don't know if it's just because this Chapman pickup is really high. Yeah, it is. So you can barely get your screwdriver in to actually adjust that. So it just made that a bit challenging to intonate the guitar. On my Epiphone, it's that way round, and on my Gibson, it's that way round, but it did why? fall off my Gibson once, and I don't know if I put it right <laughs> round. <laughs> yeah, but why would you not have it this side? That's what, It just makes much more sense. That's why I sense. put it that way yeah. when it fell off. Because it just makes so it makes much more, more sense, sense to have it that, because you've got the actual um, space to do it. And uh, yeah. it did, You said it buzzed. And, that, and then the other thing was the middle strings, mainly the D string, buzzed a bit, and I can't raise the individual saddles to get rid of that. And it's yeah, a, uh, downside. I'm sure some professional person who can do setups on guitar could probably fix it, but I've heard oh, they're expensive. It, I made it stuff, a yeah. little bit better, but um, yeah, it's not it's not perfect. But um, other than that, I love the feel of it. I love the look of it. It's, it's very brilliant. nice. We've got to compare that to a Les Paul at some point. Could do it in this video, I suppose. This is. Uh, have you finished? Yeah, okay. that's all my negative points about this. Other than the fact oh, that. Oh, what I do didn't... what do you like about it? I'll tell you the other thing I didn't like. I didn't get a bloody uh, Chapman call from a uh, guitar lesson because I was about two weeks too late buying the guitar. Oh, didn't you? Oh, Maybe I mean, you got yours. Yeah, I'm, I'm sick of talking to Rob Chapman now. All he does is <laughs> calling me all the time. Yes, mate. Yeah, I oh, did. I did also, put... the other thing to mention is that these knobs don't come as standard. This is, I put the black knobs on. And it splits. And it does split, yeah. Um, Which yeah. is cool. Mine sort of does. I like your controls. Can I talk Thank about you. this now? No. Chapman ML3, what don't I like about it? It feels like a toy. Like when weird. you It's weird, satin finish, and it, apparently it's mahogany, which it looks like, so it's got the open grain, like your, the one I made you. Mm -hmm. But does that look like mahogany, where my kids have taken a big chunk out of it? <laughs> that is not mahogany, that's that, mahogany. That looks like upsetting, that. is what that looks like. I mean, that, that's like white. Yeah. And that big chunk, that when they knocked it over, wasn't in the room, left them in the room, destroyed my guitar. Is that what it says on their website, those mahogany? Yeah. I should have checked that. Don't do it more. Well, why not? Also, this is the second one of these I had. The first one, I played it for a few hours, and where my arm rubbed it, look, see the finish goes all like yeah. bubbly. Look how easy it is to make the finish that is ridiculous. come off. But it only seems to do it on this top edge, on this edge. Why is this edge? It was is the it... same on the other one. This edge wore right off, and I was like, well, I did that for a bit on this edge, yeah, and nothing true. else happened. But, you know, it's just going to relic, and, you know, look, my kids have damaged it beyond belief yeah. in under a week. So really nice. The pickups sound phenomenal. They really do, like with uh, a proper Les Paul, 
as a Les Paul player, uh, the front pickup can be a bit of, uh, the, 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 the neck pickup can be a bit muddy sometimes. These have really they've got loads of clarity. It just sounds really nice. It's really nice to play. It does feel like a toy. When you get used to it, it's completely fine. Um, should we have a listen to them? Yeah. We're going to do it all on clean because I swear every video of these, everyone's got distortion on and I haven't put it on the gain channel, drive channel. Do you ever Pressure. talk about anyone else's channels on your channel? I don't see why not yet yeah, Anderson's channel all the just, time. I was just going to say, because there, there's a reason why I got this. And it was it was my final thought on it, forgetting it, was when I watched the Aggie Fish review on this. I've never even heard of it. Oh, he's really good. You should check him out. And uh, he got one of these, and he was going to just get it and sell it on. And he does that with like loads of reviews. He'll buy one, like so, me? yeah, and he'll set it on. And he's just he kept it, and he's got the pro one of the pro versions as well. Oh, but he loved this so much that he kept it. I was like, well, oh, it did sound good, look good. And it was the last one from Anston's as well that I got, and they don't know anymore. So that's the one I, I feel before. like this well, should have been mine. But it is yours. Well, I know it is now. That yeah, thing. it's really nice. I think mine was one of the last ones. In fact, I had to wait for another one to come into stock after I sent mine back because the paint came off, and then that happened. Mm. So it looks exactly the same, apart from it didn't have that dent on the other one. And you get a really big polishing cloth with it. I don't know, yeah. that's how I envisage It's quite a good cloth, actually. I polished all of them up before I turned up. Oh, yeah, me neither. Yeah, it's like a massive sheet. I went for a massive sheet earlier. <laughs> <laughs> this is how mine sound. Oh. Sorry, just... From playing that telly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite different. Single coils to this. Um, These are about a million K out, but I think it's 11 K and those are about seven. I just remembered something. Oh. Is that ta uh, split? Not at the moment, but it does. Oh, it's, that's how it sounds? Yeah. Sorry, can you mute it and try it through my amp? So that was a Boss uh, the yellow leads Boss Katana, purple leaders. Mute it's yours. Got... Oh, I was about to tell you <laughs> Don't off. Don't blame me. <laughs> okay, this is a orange rocker 15. <laughs> Sorry. Can you unmute me, please? No. It's just yours sounds much louder. It's about 11k output, and yours is probably more like a Les Paul, which is about seven or eight on the front or 11 on the back. So when you go to the back, mine. Oh. Output's about the same, so which I. It seems like it's quieter. Yeah. Seems weird. That is weird. Sound split. Even quieter. I mean, yeah, it sounds good. I, I do prefer the split sound of your yeah. fender. That's on the bridge, just so you know. Oh, okay, sorry. In case you're wondering. Is that split? No. <laughs> Whoa. Is that split? Yeah. It doesn't sound much different. No. Uh -uh. Try it on the. I can't remember what this is. Katana. So that's the orange rocker. Do you want to try it back on the katana? Yeah. Just out of interest. Uh, uh, let me take Very this lead out here. I've muted you this time. So, what's this? This is bridge. Sounds no, really nice. Neck. Quite a difference between the bridge and the neck, but yes. Um, what am I going through now? Katana, boss katana. So this sounds louder than it did through the orange, or am I making this up? I think it does as well. Go back to the bridge. Uh, this is the bridge. Oh, sorry. 
right flick to the neck. DB meters about the same. It's, well, that's got obviously got a load more body because it's a neck pickup. I do think they're really good guitars. I mean, they're not like your budget Squire. They're definitely way better than a Squire. Yeah. And I love a Squire. Um, they're sort of the same as like a Mexican Fender. Yeah. I'd say the, well, they're the, around the same price. Yeah. I pre it's almost exactly the same price, isn't it? Both 500 yeah, was, quid. Yeah, this was five. That was 550 or I 60. prefer the coil split sound on your um, Mexican Fender. Mm -hmm. But I love the fact that's like a Les Paul on the budget. Oh, have I not doing. played it yet? No. Okay. Oh, let's do that. Oh. Or do you want to play it through the... Oh, well. Oh, I don't care. Yeah, it feels nice. I'll try this beer. Really nice. Does it buzz? On the first couple of frets on the D, I think. I'm struggling to play because I've seemed to have it like the lead here aimed downwards. Oh, right, yeah. I should do this when I can't see you. But um, really nice to play. I like the gut cut, the tummy cut, and it's got a little spoon cut here so you can get to the high frets. Is it? Tw it's 24 frets. Is mine? Yep. Who knows? Yeah, it's got um, probably. It's got the double dot up here. I don't care for 24 frets. I personally think. 22 is enough. 21 isn't enough in my mind, but 22. Let me just do a time check. What more can we say in three minutes? Um, would you buy one? I would. Yeah. Mine was 650, they're about 750 normally. Yeah, so yours was a Pro? Yeah. Pro series, that's above that series, right? That's a modern. Yeah, mine came with a, a guitar lesson with Rob Chapman. Yeah, mine didn't, so I was disappointed about that. Which is one of the reasons I bought that. I was on the fence. You bought this because you got a guitar lesson with Rob Chapman? Yeah. Well, well I, I, I don't think that would make me buy a guitar. Which is before. weird, because you know you expect me to buy a Les Paul, but yeah. just something about I just really like the look of a carved top telly. I thought that was really cool with the set. I just don't have anything quite like that, and I really wanted. Well, this has got Chapman pickups, but I don't know. I yeah. just just wanted that guitar. All the, the Chapman guitars do look good, though. They've got a good style to them, and I the, think. Those pickups, they're just so nice sounding. Like it just has a bit more clarity. The only thing I don't like about mine is they've both got about the same output when you go between them. So I like at my Les Paul, you, or all my guitars, apart from the Strat, you flick to the um, bridge pickup and you get a bit of a volume boost. Mm. What's that one? Did you test that one? Did you test that one? Uh, I could do an output test, but... Oh, wait, I have to do something a bit more consistent. If I do the same thing and you switch to the yeah. pickup... Like less. Yeah, it's about the same or a little bit less. I, do you think it's anything to do with? Well, that's the really way high. It's weird. Like I find that weird. It's really out of the the body. I don't know what. I don't think that looks bad. Well, you would normally have pickups around to hide half of it. Yeah, I guess so. And these are body mounted. I think they're really nice guitars. Oh, the, I love the one it. I sent back had a little bit of um, like when you sand something and you don't blow all the dust away and then yeah. spray it, it was quite gritty in that little bit here. And yeah. that's often an area where you can find faults. The, um, all the reveal binding in yours is really smart. Yeah. yeah it's really... That looks amazing. I, I, I like everything about that. One piece of mahogany? Because I can't see a join. No idea. Not that it matters. If you had two or three pieces, you couldn't hear a difference. Leave a comment. <laughs> Definitely can't. I hate when people go, oh, it's got a glue joint, it's going to sound mm. terrible, and you go, yeah, it's, it's got a maple cap, cap. it's yeah. glue! <laughs> and it's probably two pieces on the Les Paul as well. So... It is quite thin though, isn't it? It is thin. I mean, that, it's not, that is a lot lighter. Is it thinner than this? Well, that's just silly. Yeah, that's just so light, it's almost... Yeah, it's a weird... Offensively light. I don't know how this can be mahogany, if it's so light. And look at the colour of it, does that look like mahogany? This looks like mahogany. I've worked. I've made guitars out of Sapelian mahogany. What could it be though? 
older. It's really light in colour, but it's open grain. Oh, didn't you say it said on their site that it is? Mahogany. I'm sure I've. Re- oh, I don't have my phone. Definite join there. Although that looks like mahogany. Look at the. Stop scratching it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. My kids are taking chunks out of it. Right. Body. Chapman Guitar says. Oh. It's definitely one solid top. Bass solid carved top. Satin finish. What bass? Base, basswood? Isn't bass. it basswood? Well, I don't know. Leave a comment. Is it bass or basswood? <laughs> but yeah, spelt the same as the thing that you're really? playing the band. So is it a mahogany top on it then? Chapman string through Why hardtail. can't I see the mahogany? If, if, the, if the top's mahogany. Body. Yeah, it says bass solid carved top, satin oh. finish, and bass body with satin finish. Where did I get mahogany from? You're making it up, mate. It was definitely on something. Well, that makes sense. It, it feels like a toy because it's like it is weird. Powder coated. It's weird, but not weird in a bad way. You pick up and you go, "That's yeah. really strange." But Which it's also really nice. I always assumed, maybe wrongly and probably wrongly, wrongly is probably not a word, but um, wronger. I thought that basswood or basswood, whatever you want to call it is a cheaper wood. But if that's in the Pro Series, why would they be using that? Oh, uh, uh, I might be wrong, but... Genuinely don't know. I think, yeah, definitely there's much difference in it, unless you're buying something really cheap. Is it, it Paulowin? I don't know how to say it, but I sold a bass guitar body the other day I was going to make out of. Something to do with P, like Paolo Natinia wood. Paolo Natinia it, it wood. It weighs about as much as a fart. It was so oh, okay. light. It yeah. was horrendous. Um, There's quite a big thing about the weight of a guitar, and it just sort of reassures people, doesn't it? That yeah, if it's too it's light, bit, it feels yeah. rubbish. If it's too heavy, you're like, oh, it's probably expensive. But then, it, although that's really light, it's too heavy. and it's a weird feeling guitar, it <laughs> sounds great. Oh, I love the sound of it, yeah. Although I've got light less pulls, so it's quite, you know, I don't have a heavy guitar. Hmm. What? So, in conclusion, would you recommend getting a Chapman? Yes. Yeah, I'd get another one. At the drop, in fact, I'm looking at a few on eBay at the moment. <coughs> drop of a hat, I'd buy one. Um, yeah. That neck is quite a chunky neck, but it's smooth it's and cool, yeah. rounded and really nice to play. Um, yeah, and well, I play, I've only played it through, other than today, I've played it through uh, like a pretty rubbish little amp and it sounded quite nice through that, but I'm you quite surprised about... Yeah, I do need the katana, but I'm quite surprised about how low output they are. Um, bridge pickup was. It's weird, isn't it? Nice. I think mean, you should give it a little go, and maybe put some distortion on or something as well. well let's go like. all the way over there. Am I still plugged into the same amps? Uh, whatever purple is. Why do I have to do? Let's do something even more melodic. Is this your new one? Oh yeah. I can't play it. <laughs> That's hard. Mm. You haven't heard it before. That's, that's nice. how it went. Yeah, that's that, how it goes. That's nice. I like it. I went to press the Dane then, it's not there. <laughs> fine. I think maybe run it with a boost pedal or just play with yeah. the volume knob a bit. It's always a good practice. Yeah. Find out, play with your knob. It's always a good start. Yeah. It's, we've got to do the, as this is pretty much an ad in this video, isn't it? Because we're playing Chapman guitars. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've got to do the... That was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you try. What are you aiming at? That. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly where it went is where I was aiming. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment.